I found a 1S meter, single phase, two hour service type. You can identify it by looking at the meter name plate. It's a 1S. What we're gonna do with exactly what a serviceman should do when he, when he is called out to install the correct meter for the correct service requested by the customer. This particular customer, if you follow up the stack, requested a two wire service. All he wanted was 120 volts, one phase. We're gonna follow it down the pole. I'm gonna go ahead, I have all my safety gloves, my glasses, my hard hat, everything we're supposed to wear at Clico. FR clothing, and I'm gonna pull the meter. As you can see, I stand to the side because I, you always stand to the side of the meter when you pull it. I pull the meter. From here, we're gonna check the voltages. This is the first thing anyone should do when they, before they ever install a meter, is check your voltages. Come up close and let me show you something. Remember I told you it's two wires up there. We have one leg that, this one here is 120 volts. And this one coming down the pipe is the neutral. You can see the neutral lands here and is jumpered to this lug, okay? So I'm gonna check voltage, and this is what I should have at this location. I should have 120 volts. Let's see, let's see if I can, you can see my volt meter. 120 volts phase the ground. That is the ground. And I'm gonna have 120 volts to the neutral. So that tells me this is a single phase two wire service, and then I need to put a form. 1S meter in it. Okay, here's the proper way to put it in. So, all right, this is a refresher from what we saw in the field. Customer requested a two wire service, 120 volt leg in a neutral to feed a street light. So, we had a single phase transformer down the road and we we took a conductor and we, we brought 120 volts to this side of the meter pan on the left side top lug and we brought a neutral to the right side of the lug. Okay, so now we have the next check we're going to do is when you come up on it is you're going to check your voltages. So we're going to go from with the en transformer energized we're going to go from this lug to neutral and we're going to get 120 volts. We're going to go from this leg to this leg with the voltmeter and we're gonna get 120 volts. We, with the breaker being open, we're doing all these checks. I didn't, forgot to mention that. But from here to here, we're gonna get zero volts. And from the hot lug here, all the way to this lug, we should get zero volts. Just a little note to everyone that if this breaker is closed, closed, you will get voltage readings here, here, and here, because you're gonna be picking up the equipment, the lights that are on the system, you'll be picking up resistance. So the perfect check is always to have the breaker open when you check voltage on a new service. Meter. And this 1S meter is wired this way. We have a current coil and a voltage coil. This voltage coil is rated for 120 volts, so it needs to go phase to ground. And this current coil is just measuring the current that's going through the meter. Just like anything, it has to measure voltage times current times the cosine of the angle to get watts. So you have to have a current coil and a voltage coil in order to meter anything. Here's an example of the single phase two wire meter that we were discussing earlier. And this is a purely resistive load where the voltage and the current are at zero degrees. With the given values, we need to figure out watts. And the formula for watts is volts times amps times the cosine of the angle. After totaling this up, the load at that single phase two wire meter is 600 watts. 